Hey everybody, welcome to Buzzworthy Business brought to you by Seaside Bank and Trust. I'm your host, Jesse Stakes, and today I have Earl Kelly from EK3 Technologies. Earl, thanks so much for joining us again. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So I know we've talked about your business in the past and we know what you do, but I would like to talk a little bit about some of the things that you guys do for your customers. What are you seeing out there that are threats to small and medium-sized businesses these days? Right now, the biggest threat that we see to um, our customers is ransomware. And uh, especially we've seen an uptick in ransomware with the, uh, with the start of the Ukraine-Russian conflict. Right. And uh, because uh, the, Rus the uh, ransomware actors need money. Right, so where are they going to get it? They're going to get it from the U.S. So, so we're, we're seeing it directly from those countries, or is it specifically one side or the other? Or we're else? we're seeing it from the countries that are um, Russian sympathizers. Okay. So they all um, are looking to get money into uh, Russian hands. That's and crazy. So, yeah, uh, ransomware is a two point four billion dollar business, and so um, we are seeing it across the board. So talk to us a little bit. How are your customers? How are businesses out there? What does that look like to them? What is ransomware? What, what you know? How do the people? How do people attack their business? So the main way um, they ransomware gets into your business is actually through email. Okay. So we're seeing about fifty-seven percent of um, attack vectors to a business are actually through email. So while you're protected, you've got everything protected, and you know you think you're you're stable. Right. It's your employee that um, has done something that usually unintentional. I mean, employees never um, you know do things that would hurt the business, but it's always an employee that has accidentally <laughs> clicked on an email or done something. Um, some of the biggest ransomware attacks that we've seen, uh, the uh, most recent one I can think about is the pipeline. That was literally from a uh, an email that right. came in and someone um, clicked on it and downloaded a file they weren't supposed to. And when you're referencing a pipeline, you're talking about the gas pipeline here in the southeast, correct? The gas pipeline in the southeast, yes. That was actually, um, that started from a phishing email. Wow. I know at work for me, we do phishing exercises all the time and, and you're actually graded on it as an employee because of that, because you you kind of you are the weak link as far as you know they can con you can control software you can control what what a program looks like you can't control the actions of your employees and so if you're giving them access to email or if you're giving if you're giving an open doorway somewhere it, you're right it's user error typically correct and um, we can we have some programs to go around that we do the same thing uh, for our businesses mm -hmm. we. Uh, do testing of your employees. It's always interesting to see which employees you think are going to pass and which employees right. you think are going to fail and then who actually does pass and fail. Um, we also uh, can provide uh, different tools uh, on the front end for your email. We have a tool called uh, Sandboxing, okay. which will actually uh, look at all of the files that come into email and if there's a file that doesn't recognize, maybe it's a Word doc and it has some uh, different um, coding on it that it's never seen before. It'll actually open up that file in a cloud environment, see what that file does. If that file was to do something nefarious, then it wouldn't let you into that file. So for our business owners on the First Coast, monetarily, what does this mean to them? So monetarily, it means that um, they need to be prepared for um, a, a ransomware attack. And so, uh, in, in fact, it's not if there's going to be a ransomware attack, it's, it's when there's going to be a ransomware attack. Sure. We can do everything that we can possibly do to prevent a ransomware attack. We can also do everything we can to make the ransomware attack landing soft, mm -hmm. right? But um, there, there is going to be a ransomware attack. And any IT professional who tell you, tells you there's not going to be is, is not... Um, telling you the truth. Well, and we talked about that off air. We talked about the fact that it's not that you can prevent a ransomware attack. It's just how how minimum how how much can you minimize the damage to that business? Correct. It's recovering from that. So my first recommendation actually is um, to talk to your insurance agent, mm -hmm. and uh, your insurance agent has uh, ransomware policies that are available. Um, but I think it's important to understand that sixty percent of all businesses that are hit with ransomware that aren't prepared sure. close in the next six months. Right? So That's it's crazy. A, it's I a think big that bears, problem. I think that bears repeating. Yeah. So 60% of all businesses that are hit with ransomware that are not prepared will close in the next six months. Well, it's a reputational damage. I mean, we talk about it from a banking perspective. The fact that if, you, if your customer information is breached, 
you've lost trust with your customer base, with the people that you're trying to do business with. You've completely lost their trust if you cannot control their data that they're giving you. Correct. I mean, look at some of the big ones that have happened. Look at look at Sony. Look at Home Depot. Look at the the pipeline. Sure. I mean, those are all those are all big things that happened and big um, breaches that happened, and they happened because of an employee, but they also um, set up. I mean, we're talking about them now, and some of those were five, ten years ago. No doubt, right. no doubt, and those are large businesses that have a, a large large amount of capital and a and a, and a very long-standing relationship with their client base and they were damaged by it. It, they they, it might not have taken them down, but it definitely damaged their reputation and damaged their brand. Correct. Um, and you and I were talking offline as well about um, a, a local bank here in town that's having that same problem. And they weren't even attacked by uh, ransomware. They were just, you know, they just have system issues. No doubt. And so it's a reputational problem because there's a lot of reputational damage that's happening right now because of their system outages. Right. So imagine if that was to happen to your business over something that you can't control. No doubt. So for, for yourself and for EK3 Technologies, how many of your clients or how are, are people coming to you because this has already happened to them? Or do you see that people are being proactive and they're they're coming to you and saying, hey, I want to pre prevent this from happening? Which one are you seeing more of? Well, we're actually seeing a couple of things, which is interesting. So um, the cybersecurity market for insurance is becoming um, super um, competitive, but it's also uh, become demanding. Right? Yes. So uh, there are insurance policies out there that are paying for ransomware and they're okay. tired of it. Okay. Um, now, just because you pay the ransom, right? Just because your uh, insurance company pays the ransom, you may or may not get all of the data back. So, right. Uh, another interesting statistic is thirty-five percent of um, all of the data is returned um, if you pay the ransom. So, right. anybody who pays the ransom, only thirty-five percent of those people are getting their data back. And of those thirty-five percent, sixty-five percent of the data is what they get back and not a hundred. Right, so what I hear you saying is that insurance companies are actually requiring businesses now to have more IT infrastructure? They are. Um, in the, uh, uh, one of the companies that we work with, Evolve, um, literally has an application that says, what are you doing? Um, and uh, we are actually returning that application along with, this is what you need to make sure that you are meeting the demands of your cyber insurance Very good. company. I mean, this is fascinating to me. Earl, if people want to learn more about you, your company, and kind of what you guys are doing to protect your clients from ransomware, where can they find more information? So they can go to our website at uh, www.ek3tech.com. Um, we also have a cyber, uh, excuse me, a ransomware guide uh, on there that you can uh, download. It gives you some more information. Um, and if you want to present it to someone, you can. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us today and, and kind of teaching our audience something that maybe they didn't know. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. If you guys would like to learn more about EK3 Technologies and us here at Buzz TV, you can join us at JacksonvilleBuzz.com. I'm your host, Jesse Stakes, and we'll catch you guys next time.